All right, so we've got a Scout here. 1966. Yeah, Scout. you've had this one for a while? 49 years. 49 years. Everybody says that this started the SUV movement that's still going on today. I don't know. Yeah. The way I understand it, in 61, they go out to buy these at farm stores here at International Harvester. Yeah. If you bought the, the biggest combine they made and the biggest, or the biggest tractor, they gave this to you. And the sales spiel, they were $1,500 new. The new Corvette was $3,200, something like that. There were no Broncos and there were no Blazers. No. So it was either a Jeep or this. This body style went from 61 to 71. There was a Scout 1, then they went to a Scout 2, and it went for like 10 years, and then they quit. Okay. There was only, there was only two versions. So it's a full convertible top? Yeah. It, yeah. There was, there was like four or five different half tops, full tops, canvas tops, and camper shells. A lot of different types of tops you could buy for it aftermarket in, in, in that era. Very cool. And that's not the original engine? No. <laughs> because I never, I never saw the original. Right. 283 Chevrolet with fuel heads, bored out 30 over, and a P5 five-speed out of an IROC Camaro. Thunderbird rear axle out of a 67 T-Bird four-door suspension rear. Nice. The frame is original. Uh, the firewall is original. This is all original. The way it's cut out is original. See this right here? That round yep. thing? Yep. That's the jack in the basement of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody thinks this is a Toyota Scion. I made that bumper out of some of my dad's metal, and I put that IH in there so that people would understand what it is. When I first built this 49 years ago, I went to the local IH dealer, and I bought this and the grill. Okay. And 25 years later, it became a hardware store, and I went back and bought the screws to mount it.
So it did sit idle for 25 years? Yes, yeah. I, because I had to get married and have yeah. kids. And yeah. It was locked in a room. My kids had never seen it until a few years ago we got it out. And now you're on the tour with your son. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the fourth time we've done the tour and it's just, it's a ball. Yeah, yeah. That's also when you're overheating, you just open the hood a bit. <laughs> She's much better. <laughs> get rid of that heat soap. Paid for the first power tour 25 years ago, I never made it. I was in a power club and then they changed the power tour. Uh, when they first came out with it, I joined right up. Nice. But, I but I never made it. So your first one was 14? 14, finally right. made it 14. <laughs> like you, you were meant to be here this time and you didn't make it. <laughs> no, that's true. I made it, I'm here. I just, we're just at least the last little bit. Yeah. We'll, we'll see tomorrow, we'll see tomorrow. But anyway, I don't wanna talk about me, I wanna talk about this beautiful thing. Okay. This is fantastic. 49 years ago, I bought this out of a junkyard. It was a body shell, okay. no motor, no transmission. Uh, I gave $300 for it. It was titled two wheel drive. I wanted a hot rod pickup truck, but everybody thought I was crazy because nobody in the seventies touched trucks. So uh, this is the result of uh, 49 years of playing. <laughs> okay. And it's made out of all kinds of uh, different items. These things never had bumpers unless you paid. Back in that day, you bought heater extra, you bought bumpers extra. So this truck has no heater, it has no, no radio. This is gymnasium floor out of a local high school gym that was getting bulldozed. And the wheel tubs are from Tractor Supply. These are stainless steel mixing bowls. Trying to make it look like a nomad. These are stainless steel shafts cut in half. That's not it's solid. A, it's is a it? solid bar. Oh, really? And it's drilled and tapped from the other side. Oh, okay. So, because you're a metal worker, right? Yeah. Well, this was some of my father's stainless steel from some of the machines he invented. So I, I put my father's metal on here. Oh, nice. Kind of a heritage thing. Oh, that's awesome. This is two factory dashboards, one on top of the other. That's awesome. I wanted it to look like it was factory built. So this is a dashboard, and that's a stock dashboard. This is another one that I put together. I handmade this, this, this right here. I, it took me months to swirl each swirl in there. Just so, sitting at the kitchen table, or? <laughs> a rubber hammer and some valve grinding paste like what you would do. Yeah, yeah. But it took me months to do that. In my era, that was, you were, you were classy if you had that. Right, right, right. I love the console, so that's a uh, four going okay. Yeah. That's so cool. In my day, everybody talked about your status. Yeah. Well, I have it. This is yeah. all stock. Nothing. Just, I just cut it apart. The door, the hinges used to be right here. And this is all original. Oh, so you just bolted it together? Yeah. yeah. I just built some braces in it and put this plate on here, and that's all I did. The operating system is a wheelchair lift for a school bus or a, an activator for a big satellite to turn, to turn the old fashioned satellite. No latches, it just holds it. It's not a million, a thirty thousand dollar paint job. Yeah, but yeah. Hey, yeah, no, I, got, no. I got the only one out there. I love there. it. I love it. It makes the noise. It's, it's light enough. Do you know how much it weighs? Yeah. So, so it's, it's a perfect little engine for it. It's, yeah. it's incredible. You got the throat in V8. Lots of get up and go. Do you have any issues with the heat? How did it do on those uh, on those hills? It's got a sway bar on the front that doesn't have it on the back. But okay. It's, it's in the twisties. It could have had a new sway bar on the back. It's got coil spring rear end. Okay. Not the first stock rear end. Yeah. It, it can stand a little firmer because they were pretty mushy back then. Yeah, yeah. And it can stand something a little stronger. Okay. Uh, I could probably convert it to coil overs right now or air or something to stiffen it up. Yeah. But where I come from, there aren't any twisties. Yeah, it's all flat and straight. Yeah. yeah. You don't go around too many corners in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take all the stuff out? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That was better cool for a second. There you go. Wow. No, oh, I loved it. One of a kind. And I love their sign, please touch. Yeah. Yeah. I asked the guy was giving that away at the, at the event. Yeah. I said, Do you have another one that says, it said, do not touch? Yeah. I said, I, said, I, want, I want another one that says, do touch. Yeah. 
So we cut that apart and clean it off. Well, thank you very much for letting me drive. I appreciate it. No problem. I hope, and, I hope and, you had fun. Yeah, absolutely. And you're building a cab over a Cummins. 56 Ford cab over with a Dodge chassis and a Cummins engine stacks. And yeah. I'm going to get ready for power tour next year. Okay. Because this power tour is going to come right through your backyard. Yeah, I know. We'll be there. We'll be there with something cool. <laughs> anyway, if you guys know of, so he's building a one ton Dodge frame. Uh, we need two drive axles for the back, like a transport truck. So you're making like a mini transport truck. Yeah. So if you know of any company that does it, comment down below and, and uh, yeah. let us know. Yeah. And otherwise, um, if you have a ride, then fill out the form and I'd love to take it for a drive. Thanks again, man. Thanks. I appreciate every minute. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.